Well, it's November on beans, brews and bread. We just thought we'd skip October for the uh, for the old plot vlog. Wasn't really that much going on and I need some serious tidying up to do. So, well and truly autumn. We've had uh, Halloween, All Saints Day today. A few things on order, a few things to plant. Let's go and have a look. Well, welcome to the November tour for beans, brews and bread at the plot. Temperatures aren't too bad. We have had uh, some pretty warm autumn weather. Last week or so was pretty damp. It's now dried off a bit now, which means we can actually get some of the sort of autumn planting, sort of onion sets, salad and garlic, the garlic in. I know I keep on saying I'm not going to do garlic, but I can't help myself. I know I've got problems with white rot in the uh, plot, but you never know. Fingers crossed this year might be the year. So, weather's nice and warm, uh, a bit dry this week, so good conditions for getting those in the ground. Uh, also good to get things tidied up as well, a few projects in the pipeline, sort of getting the uh, compost bins tidied up and tidied around the back of the shed. Got uh, some uh, brambles coming in through the back of the shed, so they need uh, sorting out. Also put an order in for a few winter brassica type things, we've got the small sort of beds near the back of the plot that were sort of where the heritage um, seeds were trialled out a few years ago then we had the leeks that didn't work so we're clearing those out a bit we've got some uh, winter cabbage and some purple sprouting broccoli for spring we've got a few other bits on order as well some kale and things so we'll get the next bed over from there prepped as well so we'll do a quick tour now and then we'll do a little bit of uh, planting to round off but we'll have a look so we've got the front two beds getting slowly cleared Breaking down some of those brassica cages, the protection that didn't really work last year. Um, they're just the connector just all snapped and everything, so they didn't really work. We also had that bed there, which was the um, Lungo de Napoli uh, squash, which unfortunately didn't work at all. <laughs> we got that in a little bit too late. Uh, no um, German you know, fertilization of any of the flowers to get any fruits. But um, earmarked these front two beds and the next one for the manure delivery, which we've got all penciled in. So fingers crossed we're going to get a nice big delivery and I'll try and probably turn this over a bit. Maybe get a really deep um, load of manure to hopefully suppress the uh, weeds over winter. I'm trying to get the, now that the autumn's come, I'm trying to get the front bed cleared which is for flowers as well try and cut these bushes back a bit trim the edges got a strimmer at home which you can bring down which is a battery powered so we can get that hopefully tidied up then made a start on breaking down the what i like to call the mediterranean veg bed we've got the tomatoes finished hopefully get those up not too weedy Got the sides broken down as well which you'll see in a minute but we've got the um bolotti which have all now dried you can see here the um pods are all nice and dried we'll get those off these ones are taking forever on this one to dry out they're still just about a bit of sort of meat to them on the pods so we'll let them dry out a bit further Unfortunately, the uh, runner beans didn't do anything. They were a bit of a last minute plant. But yeah, we've got the boards we're taking down and we're uh, putting them, as you'll see, a bit further down the plot. The uh, Blue Lake beans, I'm leaving these to dry, see if we can get a few seed for next year. These are taking a bit to dry again. It's a bit of a battle between either birds or slugs or something trying to get hold of those. So I might 
just harvest those and dry them at home. But that's the red veg bed, which is probably the most successful part of the plot this year. The peas here. They were good. But yeah, we'll get those tidied up and that'll be three beds at the back of the plot all ready. We had the broad beans, they were pretty successful. We've got those breaking down there. And the beetroot, not too bad. I think these have probably gone over now. We had a few, but they were very small. I would suggest I might do a few pickles, but we'll get those up. But what we've been mostly working on is the old potato bed, which we've completely de-weeded. And we've got the elephant garlic going in, which we've saved the seed from last year. We'll show you a bit of those planting up. And I think We'll use this for the onions and garlic this year. So probably about the last section of that bed. And then we'll get the rest of it covered in manure. But I'm quite happy now this is clearing up. Fingers crossed we can get the uh, onions and garlic in before it starts getting too cold. So we tried a few different videos the last month. We put a new brewing video up, which was the uh, ginger beer. If you've managed to harvest your ginger this season, then why don't you go and watch that video? You might remember, pop a uh, quick note up there. You can go and watch that video next, which is the ginger beer recipe. That's gone quite well, surprisingly. Um, if there are other videos you want, I was promising also to do another sourdough bread video, so we'll try and get that sorted out this month. But uh, if there's anything else you'd like, maybe video thinking about what potato varieties might be going for next year or uh, some thoughts about the uh, tomato varieties that we might be trying to go because the uh, crimson variety really worked well on the plot last year. Actually better than the ones at the house and the uh, undercover. So hmm, maybe some thoughts on that. Maybe do a video on that. Should I do a video when we have the manure delivery? See how, uh, how that works out. Maybe a whole day of uh, shoveling uh, manure all over the plot. But uh, maybe if you write some suggestions below what you might be interested in seeing over the next few months as things slow down a bit on the plot. This section over here, we had real problems with the leaks. Bought these off eBay. They were really good. I mean, as you can see, if they'd have not been attacked, getting these in sort of, was it late July maybe? cleared this section from the elephant garlic and it would have been all right but I really should have covered them up they've absolutely got hammered with whatever has eaten them so shame that but what we're going to do is we're going to get the rest of this bed cleared up and we'll get it pretty much set up like this this is where we've got some overwintered brassicas managed to get a real good deal on this Purple sprouting broccoli, which is very small, but I'm hoping we'll just bump away and then maybe give us a nice early harvest. We'll put some lime in the holes just to try and combat the club root. And uh, they're not doing too bad, they were much smaller than this. So I think, lucky, we'll uh, get a good harvest in spring off those. And then these were cabbage say something like you know little drum head some of them a bit further along than others we get a bit more protection down on the uh, ground giving it a weed loads of little seedlings of weeds but giving that a good weed over so fingers crossed get some purple sprouts and broccoli and some cabbage early next year over here like I said we'll put Another similar protection down, and we've got some kale, uh, some collie, and I think a few cabbagey kind of things coming as well. So, try and get two little beds like this set up. Similar kind of thing with these uh, sides, just seems to keep it a little bit separate from the path. We've got some new weed membrane down here. But yeah, I like the autumn gives you a chance to see the wood for the trees we'll get this cleared out hopefully and reclaimed 
and that tidied up at the back. What a mess, but I've got to say, red in tooth and claw. No hiding on this uh, channel from the imperfect uh, allotment plots. But I really do need to get that compost bay sorted out. Get some a front on that and get some of this uh, these weeds in there. That's going to be a dirty pile. But it's not looking too bad. At least the shed's still standing. Just. So, some tidiness, some prep. All ready for next year. So, we've got the elephant garlic, which we saved from last year. Got quite a lot, which uh, we've uh, managed to save. As you can see, we've got some really nice sized cloves, which we'll get into the, uh, the ground. So you can see those. But yeah, we'll uh, plant these as we go. We'll get these dropped in. Some really nice sized cloves here. Don't forget, you've got to get them the right way up. Try and choose your big old cloves just to try and help with the uh, sort of selection of propagating the bigger ones as you go. Now, I was really impressed with this last year, the elephant garlic. So I'm hopeful that should get a decent harvest this year. I'd say we're probably planting these about twice the depth of the bulbs or the uh, cloves. Try and get them the right way up. Absolute dob of that one. Get. Let's read a few of these as you go. Must be about what? I've got three rows. One, two, three, four. Counting, obviously, really exciting uh, TV. One, two. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-three times three. Sixty-nine. <laughs> Is that right? right? Also got a new tool. You can see it's an oscillating hoe. This has been great for clearing the small weeds off that bed. But just to Gonna use that to draw a bit over the uh, it's really good for the close work, I feel like a sort of swell which I've got with the uh, wolf garden tools. So I'm really impressed with this. Just goes under the surface, clears all the tops off those weeds. Looking really good, very impressed. Don't really need, to. yeah, don't need to water any of these in the ground's quite moist as it is that's the elephant garlic in now we seem to do really well with the elephant garlic so i'm really happy with that we'll leave a small space i'm gonna get rid of that compost bin that you're on at the minute clear that other side of the bed and we'll get the uh, rest of the um onions and garlic in there that should be enough for autumn sown garlic and onions this year at least um, I think from this point on obviously I'll try and get the uh, hoe on this as we go through winter just so we keep the 
leads down. Um, then we'll get the lines sorted out where they are so we don't rip the tops off. But I'll leave those thanks to Mark where I want to have a space between onions and garlic and that's just about enough to get through with garlic. Quite a, you know, the foliage isn't that big to get weeded in between them. But that's a good job. Yes, this is the Kenton Stowe Oscillating Hoe. I think there was money off this through Marshalls the other month. So that was a pretty good, but as you can see, just going over the last of these little weeds here, doing a great job of just nipping the tops off as you go in between the plants. So we'll break down hopefully. Nice little gentle rake from weed. Mate, hey, all done. Loads of little seedlings of weeds in this, so try to keep on top of them. Nipping the tops off is the way forward, but very happy with that. As you can see, it just, you know, swings to and fro, takes the tops of the weeds off, gives you half a chance of uh, fighting them. So I'm going to try pre New Year's resolution, do some more weeding this year. Job and we'll get the uh, get the uh, netting back over. If you enjoyed the video today, be grateful if you give it a thumbs up. If you've got any suggestions or comments on what you've seen, or uh, just want to tell what you're doing next year and at the minute, then comment below. If you're not already, then press the subscribe button and uh, bell icon to be notified the next time we've got a video up. So thanks for watching today. We'll see you next time. Bye.